In today's video, we are going to discuss a game played between uh, John Christoph Duda versus Richard Trafford in Tata Steel 2022. This game was played in uh, London system, and we will look at uh, the way these grandmasters think. Actually, game started with d4, knight f6, knight f3, d5, bishop f4, and this is a uh, queen pawn's game. London system. Uh, bishop f5 developing e4 e6 by black now e3 and knight bd7 queen b3 this queen is putting pressure over here now on this pawn and on this pawn on b7 bishop d6 and here actually uh, black is seeing white to exchange these bishops and uh, if white exchanges, it what happens for example bishop into bishop pawn into bishop now white want wanted to take this pawn over here for doubling this uh, pawns but the problem is that now queen a5 check an intermediate move and after knight f2 now knight into d5 Are you thinking that we can pick this bishop? No, because this knight is pinned to this queen, the king. So you can't double the pawns. The concept is this. So that's why uh, he moved over here to bishop g3. Uh, this is the move sixth actually. And there is only one game in the database between um, Anna Basov versus Jeffrey Zyong. And uh, it was played in uh, October 2021. And in that game, Abasov took the bishop. But now, in this game, Christoph Duda just uh, retreated his bishop to g3. And uh, um, the computer may say that this is uh, actually not a good move. The obvious one. Taking is better. But I think Duda had prepared something over here. Now D into C4. Bishop into C4. And now this pawn is threatened. What is the best move? Pause the video and think. What is the best move in this position? There are two best moves in this position. Uh, one is rook b8, which was played in the game. And the second one was a5. And what is the concept behind playing the move a5? Because if you take this pawn now, the problem is bishop e4. Now queen has to come back, queen b3. Now after rook b8, Queen has moved back to queen d1 and see this queen is on the initial scale. And now this rook can take the pawn on b2. This was another version, but in the game he went out for the move rook b8 immediately. Now here white has three uh, good moves. One, he can just castle. Then he... Uh, sorry. Uh, really very sorry. Mm -hmm. Mistake actually. Mm, something by this system actually. So D into C4. Now Bishop into C4. Rook P8. And now white played the move knight c3. He could have gone for this castle or bringing bishop back. But he went out for the move. Yes. Knight c3 developing the knight. Now b5. By black. And uh, if you take it what happens. 
Pause the video and think that if you take this pawn, what happens? For example, if you take it by the knight, the problem is that now first bishop into g3, h into g3, and now a6. And this knight is being pinned to this queen. That's why you can't take this knight. So that's why after b5, do the vent bishop e2. Now black simply castled. Rook d1. Why did not he brought the rook to c1? Going for this half open pile. What happens? If rook c1. Now the issue is that after bishop into bishop, h into g3, and now c5. And in just in an instant, after c5, and knight into c5, black species are active. And it is equal. I would say that it is easy to play with black in this position because white has still not castled. In the game, he went out for the move rook t1, saying that I am going for this open file. I am going to open this file. Queen e7, now developing the queen. Knight e5. And uh, here, if you take this knight immediately, pause the video and think that if you take this knight immediately, what is the issue? The point is that after bishop into knight and pawn into bishop, now first knight c5 challenging the queen and e into f6, e into f6, queen has to move back, queen a3 and now b4. And after knight to d5, e d5, queen a5 Although it seems that black has scored these two double pawns but the position is equal and black has majority of these pawns on the queen side instead of these white's two pawns So that's why he went out for the move b4 first then after knight a4 now he took the knight d into e5 and now knight e4 challenging the bishop this knight is very monstrous over here so f3 first knight into g3 h into g3 and uh, this knight and these this knight both are around about um, uh, equal of equal value, not very bad. But here, uh, Richard Trapon took a decision and went out for the exchange of these knights. Now we have reached the middle game proper position. White does not want to castle because he has this half open file. So he is going to tuck away his king on the f2. Black has majority of these pawns on the queen side. And white structure is very bit very disturbed. This pawn is a goner at any time. What is the white's plan in this oh sorry, white's plan in this position? His plan is that he wants to play the move e4 at some time and tuck away this bishop on these scares this scare after the exchange of the queens this is white's plan and black's plan is that he want to push his pawns this is black's plan so white went out for with his plan king f2 queen into e5 now rook d7 
e5 by black as said he want to push these pawns e1 taking control of this whole open file now e5 bringing a uh, creating a loop for his king and the second thing was that uh, he does not want why to push this pawn to g4 to challenge this bishop e4 by white now bishop g6 and uh, these are the types of the positions where you look for the moves and think that actually how i'm going to uh, make a move in this position what is the move in this position and here duda gave a wait waiting move just rook 1 to d2 h4 by black g2 h4 now queen h2 bishop f1 going for the protection of the king now queen into h4 check and here white played the move g3 here he could have also gone for the move king g1 both of these were equal after queen g5 and now queen d3 the position is still equal this move is also okay and now queen h5 by black and here it is white to play and what is the best move he is going to play it was better uh, for black to actually give again the check first and after bishop g2 he goes for the move c5 pinning still pinning this bishop and after white goes for queen c4 now rook b c8 protecting this pawn rook d1 saying i am going to just lock your queen so queen has to move queen h5 and still the game is equal and not this type of position arised in the game also by the game he immediately went for the move queen h5 and it is okay king e3 controlling the dark squares now c5 by black the point is that you can't take this pawn because it is being protected what are you going to do are you going to put more pressure over here or first you are going to bring your king to g2 to get away from any type of further checks and the best first thing is that you bring your king to g2 bring your king out of further checks then you are going to play now a4 by white sorry black bishop c4 now controlling this diagonal and here black played the move a3 and i want you people to pause and think that why this is a mistake why a3 move is a mistake by black now the problem is that after the move which was played in the game b3 now you see that this structure is being locked and these black pawns can't do anything this black bishop is stuck away how to bring it in the game he will have to play the move f5 and then the black king side would be weakened that's why this a3 move was wrong then what was the best move in this position for black the best move in this position for black was to play the move queen e5 centralizing the queen and what could happen and this is a very uh, difficult actually position it is not an easy one 
I want you people to pause and think. Do you want to exchange the queens? One is going back, queen h5. How you take it? And the third move is queen f6. And what move do you think is the best one? And the best move might be in this position was the queen f6. Because the reason behind this queen f6 move is that if white takes the queen, pawn takes it. And now white plays the move g4 to tome this bishop. Now black can go for the move rook ef8 first. Now you may be thinking that how black can free this his bishop. Here white tries the move b3. Now black can play the move a3. And after king f2 by white bringing the king to the center. Now king g7. King e3. And now e5. He can't do anything. The position is just equal. So, in the game, he went out of the move for a3 immediately. Now, after b3, queen e5, now he did, but now after queen f4, he exchanged the queens. And now, bishop g4, sorry, bishop h5 was played. And king g3 and here uh, Richard Rampard made the mistake and that was g6. And why this is a mistake? Pause and think that why this is a mistake. The point is that after this move, now this bishop is really tombed. It can't move anywhere. This is just a pawn. Then what was the best move in this position? The best move in this position was rook pc8. And after rook d to d6, now rook c e, oh sorry, c8. And you are going to continuously just jump from this square to this square. And the game is a draw. I think move g6 which allowed rook d to d3. Now this bishop is just a pawn. Rook b8, knight king h4. King 7 now king g5. And here white has a winning advantage because this is a very dangerous threat. This move f5. Black tried desperately, rook h8, but now rook c7 going for the pawn, rook c8 challenging the rook, now rook e7 by white, and here rook c8 was played again challenging the rook, but now after rook ed7, it is black's to move. And if you see that black has no moves left. The point is that if you think that you can just, uh, you can't uh, play this pawn, sorry. If the rook tries to move to over here, now rook c7. And after rook c8, uh, sorry. And after rook to c8, now you play the move. Rook, uh, sorry, over here it just becomes Rook A7. So for the move Rook E8, now Rook A D7. He has to move back. Rook A E8. And now move is E5 first. Now black can't play this move and next you can go for the move this. And after rook c7, 
which was played in the game also here e5 was best first the point of this move re e5 was that this pawn can't move anyway and what whatever if king goes back then this king will come over here and it is just winning in the game he went out for the move rook c7 first then rook h8 and that was a blunder because now it allows these rooks to double it tried desperately to defend the pawn but now f5 and here richard tempot designed the game the reason is if he take by this pawn this bishop falls if he takes by this pawn now bishop into f7 first rook has to move back now rook e7 rook has to take this bishop and rook into f7 and this is actually a mate in 5 so what we understand in the game is that from just it is a very positional maneuvering type of uh, opening that's why magnus carlson like it and just there was a little bit mistake over here just c just a light mistake a3 instead of it he must have moved his queen first then when white plays this move then he is going to play this move not by himself so if you like my video kindly subscribe and hit the bell icon button thank you very much